So in our previous video, we looked at CAD Sketcher and looked at the basic workflow compared to something like FreeCAD. We're going to carry on in that vein and start looking at constraints. So we're in Blender at the moment, and I'm going to click on this cube and hit the delete button on the keyboard. I'm going to come over to the right hand side and click on Sketcher and add a sketch. We're going to go on the XY plane, this plane here. Now on that plane, let's click on the Z. So we're looking directly down on our plane. So this initiates CAD Sketcher and we'll create a new sketch. Over in FreeCAD, well, it's basically the same, but we have to decide on which workbench we're going to use. I'm going to use the part design for this one. And we'll create a body and we start by creating a new sketch again using the XY plane and we're looking directly down on it. And let's bring this out so we can see what's going on. So in FreeCAD, if I wanted to place some geometry down, then we create a geometry by selecting, say, a rectangle and start adding the rectangle. And straight away, we can see that we've got these constraints that run around the outside, vertical, horizontal. And these are coincident constraints. So if I hit escape to get the mouse pointer back, these are individual lines, which I can click on and hit delete. And as you can see, we've deleted a side there. I'm just gonna hit Control Z. Over in CAD Sketcher, well, it's more or less the same. So we create a new sketch and I'm gonna select the add rectangle. And we click once and drag this out to create the rectangle like so. So we've got that there, that gives us some space. You can see we've got the same, we've got the horizontal and vertical constraints running around the outside and these are the coincident constraints. And again, if I look to my left, you can see that the tool is still active. Same in FreeCAD, we either right click, cancel or hit escape. Now I can say select the left hand side and hit the delete on the keyboard and get rid of that. So that is basically the same. I hit Control Z to get that back. Now I want to center this rectangle. Now to do that, we need to use a midpoint constraint. And if we look to the right, we have tools, entity, and constraints here. If I open up the tools, I have all the constraints in here. As you can see, constraints there. The constraints, this can be a bit confusing. This is when we start adding the constraints, they will appear here. So we click on tools, we have all our constraints here. And we have the midpoint. When we roll over, we can see that it's asking us to pick an entity to constraints. So we've got the solver point 3D, solver point 2D, and solver lines. So to constrain this in the center, I need to add some geometry to this by clicking on the line and hovering over this point here so it's highlighted click once and bring this right over and what will happen is as I get near to this point you see it snap and that is a coincident constraint there it's auto constrain there and click so we've got this line going across here now what I can do is right click to cancel or hit escape and click on that line and then shift click the center point holding down shift on the keyboard and clicking that center point so both those are selected and then add the midpoint constraint so this is now constrained in the middle and you can see that there and if I select all of these by shift clicking all of the outside and using an equals across there you can see that we can pull this in and out now this line is going to affect the mesh when we extrude this or in this case add a solidified modifier so i've got to change this to construction geometry to do that i have to click on it and then right click and then select construction that creates a dashed line which means when this is extruded or solidified then this will just be a normal square let's have a look over to freecad and compare those. So in FreeCAD we have our rectangle. Now we have something called a symmetry constraint with this. 
So how that works is we select these two points and the point that we want to create symmetry to. The selection is also different. So we use a hungry selection in FreeCAD, which means when I click, I don't have to hold down shift. It just adds those to the selection. If I click those again, then they're removed. Or click off, all the selections in that list are removed. So I'm gonna select this point, just use the same points and this point. And finally, the one that I want to make it symmetrical to this point, and then find the midpoint constraint. Well, in this case, is called symmetry constraint. So these are the geometries. Let's bring this down out of the way and bring this over. I was playing with this earlier, so this is why these are all over the place. And we've got this one here, constrained symmetrical. I click that, those are all symmetrical now. So you can see that's centered. And the equality, well, we just add lines like so just by clicking on them or shift clicking and use an equality or we use the equal and it's now pre-selected and select the lines we want it equal to so i actually only need two so one on the side and one on this side and that's the same for cad sketch here as well you only need two of those so can we do this equals pre-selection before selecting the lines? Let's click on this equals and delete the constraint and make sure that nothing's selected and click the equal. And you can see down the bottom it's saying entity one, pick entity to constrain. So let's click one, click the other, and those are equal across there. So you have the same kind of constraint. Let's just delete that. So we click the equals and then we can select both of those and those become equal. So very similar to FreeCAD. The only problem is that we don't have this midpoint where you can select a point and a point. If I got rid of this and hit delete and used the midpoint constraint, and used this point, this point, and this point, then as you can see, nothing happens. Now we've added the constraints and well, we need to know how to delete them. And we looked at that before with that construction line geometry that's going across here. If I click on the equality constraint, and you can see when I roll over that, we roll over that, and stay there for a little while, it shows you which parts are equal. If I click on that and hit delete constraint, those are removed. Over in FreeCAD, it's the same. If you come in and hover over the constraint, you can see the constraint is highlighted. It doesn't show the lines highlighted, as you can see like that. If I click on it and that one, if we look to the left hand side, we have the constraints here. And you can see the equality constraint is selected there. So when I select them, they will be selected on the left hand side here. And we can multi select them by adding them to that hungry selection. Let's go into construction geometry because we saw that in CAD Sketcher. And that requires a line going from this point to this point to have the symmetrical constraint in. What I'm going to do is actually simulate that in FreeCAD. So let's take away that symmetry constraint and hit delete. And I'm going to place a line from this point to this point. So you can see it's basically the same. So take that line and this point and create symmetry like so. We've got symmetrical constraint in there. As you can see, that's working. And to change this to construction geometry, we use the construction, toggle construction geometry from the toolbar and click on that this becomes blue. So construction geometry in FreeCAD is blue, in CAD Sketcher it's a dashed line. On the left hand side if we look down you can see line 5, this one if I hover over it, it's got blue points across there, that means it's construction. And we can see from the drop down we can actually filter out the construction geometry here. These lists 
are available in CAS SketchUp. So we need to come down to the constraints to see those and open those out. And we can see we've got horizontal, vertical, etc. So that's all I'm going to do with that video. Very quick, just to show you how constraints are made in CAD SketchUp and how they compare to FreeCAD. In the next video, we'll create something and start using those constraints in a very simple part. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope to see you again soon. If you're enjoying these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash MJ3D Studio. Any donations will be used to help to span the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.